Okay, now let's talk about adding materials to our parts and to our assemblies. You know, we know that at the part level, we can color the part body. We can also color features within the part body. We can also color faces within the part body. We also know that over in the assembly level, at the product level, we can color instances. So the coloring can occur kind of all over the place. And that's also true for materials to some extent. So let's start by talking about how do we apply material to a part. Let's select our material icon and bring it up top for now. Okay, And let's select it. And we're going to apply aluminum here to this part. And I'm going to select at the very top, that's called the part uh, number, and let's select aluminum and apply material and watch where it applies here. It applies to the very bottom of the tree. And then I'm going to say OK. And it's shaded very nice because I have the render style set to shading with shading with materials. Okay. There we go, shading with materials. And you'll notice that over on the assembly level also, if we have the uh, render barrels there set to shading with materials. It also shows the materials over here. Now let's come back to the part level and let's delete that off the bottom and let's apply material this time. Let's apply it a little differently. Let's select the part body or select any piece of the of the uh, solid and say aluminum and apply. And now watch where it's applied to the tree. It's actually inside the tree just under the part body, there's your aluminum, and at the very bottom of the tree, if you double click the material, you see it says aluminum. Now, which is the better way to uh, apply the material? Well, in general, most companies say that you should pr probably apply it to the part body and not at the part number level. Okay, We'll say OK there, but every company is different. Okay. So here we have our material applied to this part, and it's applied to this part in the assembly or the product. You can also apply materials at the product level. So now let's go to this product and let's pull the uh, material icon for the product out and let's select it. And now let's select, um, say, this wing here. And if I touch the wing anywhere, let's see where it applies. I touch the wing, port wing here versus here. See, that's it's shifting where it's selected. If I select here and say aluminum and apply material, it's applied at the part. You will be changing the part now. If you save this product, this part will be changed and aluminum will be added to the part. Let's control Z to back out of that. And now let's do a material. And let's apply aluminum, but this time let's select the entire port wing and say apply. And now you'll see that it is applied at the instance level. Okay. Now we're going to have a little fun over here, and we're going to apply a different material here to the uh, starboard wing. Let's select the starboard wing and select material, and let's select um, let's select. Uh, black and white tiling from the construction industry and let's say OK apply material. Well that doesn't look like what it shows to be here but let's just say OK anyway and then in that starboard wing we actually can see the black and white tiling here let's right click and go to the properties for black and white tiling okay, and I'm gonna make this a little I'm gonna close this I'm gonna make this full screen before we do that and I'll right click and go to the properties and there's all kinds of ways for us to adjust the properties here and you know one of the things we can do is we can change the material size and so you can make the, the the squares smaller you can also come to this texture tab and for the mapping method we could do say a box and there's uh, or you could choose uh, spherical or cylindrical 
So you choose the mapping method that you would like. Now the point of this video is not to go into all of the different properties of this black and white tiling. You know, it even has analysis properties. You know, tile has properties and and we have uh, all kinds of options we could set for materials. Uh, but uh, the only one that I really wanted to show you was under the rendering. There's some mapping options that allow you to get some of the more unusual uh, patterns to appear better. Okay, So that brings us now to the conclusion of how to apply materials either at the assembly or product level or at the part level.